What is up, Fabrication Nation? So, I owe you a little bit of fabrication. Been a little slack here lately. So we're gonna do a battery box today for the goose real quick. I'm gonna kinda show you how I envision these things in my mind. And I always like to try to lay it out in all one complete piece and then bend it up. Sometimes that don't work out, but that's the idea. So just give you kind of a, an idea of what I'm about to do, what you're about to see. It is hot as balls in the shop, so I may actually do some of the work outside. All right, so this is my current battery setup right now. Nothing stupid fancy. It just works. And the idea is that down here it's got these little bolts that come up with nuts on top on the front and the back. And so the idea is that the, the battery box itself will come down and bend out and then these little nuts will hold it in place. Once the floor goes back in here, the floor just kind of ties right up to this bottom box piece and there's actually an opening that goes around this so the bottom of it is open. That's where all the wires will go through. And so all I really need to know is what the size of the top is going to be. So it's like 12 and a quarter. And 12 and a quarter by seven. So, well actually I'll probably make it wider than that. So it'll be like, let's see, 12 and a quarter by probably nine. And then the only other thing I need to know is how tall it is. So based on that, I needed about nine inches. Ooh, nine inches and really with just those three measurements 12 and a quarter by what I say eight and nine tall with just those three measurements I should be able to create the box on the aluminum just draw it out cut it bend it up and it should fit that's the idea at least so uh, let's uh, do this before it gets dark All right, so I've got everything laid out, uh, kind of the way that I thought it would go together. Uh, so these would be the sides, side, side, this is the top. This would be the front, this would be the back. And these little one inch pieces would be the flanges. I'll show it to you again, just in case you can't see it. So the idea was that this was gonna be the top. I basically bend it here, this is gonna be a side, that's gonna be a side. This is gonna be the back, this would be the front, and these little pieces would be the flanges that the actual bolts go through. But as happens a lot when you're trying to fabricate something from scratch, you gotta really think through it. Cause you only like wanna cut and try to bend once. You don't wanna waste material, you don't wanna waste time. So as I got to looking at this, I was kinda wondering whether my brake, this thing would fit in the brake when I go to bend it, and it won't. So I can still do it, I can still make the box. I'm just gonna change up the design slightly. Basically, instead of having the sides attached to it, on either side, I'm just gonna have to make some flanges that come off maybe this far, maybe an inch, go down, 45 in, and then this will come out, little flange goes down, 45's in. I'll do that on all three of these panels, 
and then I'll just cut the sides separately. I can bend those flanges and I can bend these pieces in there uh, and then I'll just attach the flanges at the end. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't make sense now, it will in just a minute. The only thing that sucks is I kind of got to re redo what I've already done. So I'd rather do that than it not work. So it's, it's, uh, it's kind of the price you pay to have cool. Acetone, it's the original magic eraser. Hang on for just one second. So it's the next day. Last night I was thinking about all this footage that you're about to watch and realized that a lot of these tools you may have questions about. So I have like Friday videos on all of these tools. Pretty much all of these tools. So what I'm gonna do is I will drop links in the description to those videos. So if you have any questions about the tools you're about to see me use, you can just go check those out. Anyway, back to the build. All right, so all the cutting is done. All the prep, design, and cutting is finished. So this is the top and the front and the back. It's got the little flanges here. These will all be bent down and uh, riveted to the side pieces. So these are the side pieces here. It is hot. I'm literally melting right now. It's so hot. But I'm gonna push through so we can get this thing done for you. Getting close. Technically, I could bend it up the way it is, Clico, and rivet everything together, and I would be done. But, it's just not my style, right? Gotta do something a little extra, if you know what I'm saying.
right, so now that part's done. Got my little design in there. Now it's just time to bend this thing up on the brake and uh, put everything together. Look, look who shows up, uh, of course, when the work's done. <laughs> I've been here for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's how you make the battery box. Well, kind of. Not quite done just yet. So, basically, it's just top, front, and back. It's got the, got the lips on the side. And then, let's have panels that'll go on the inside. And I'll just rivet them up which you'll see because I'm gonna get ready to do it right now. But that's it, that's all there is to it. Simple, Any, anybody can do this, you can do this. It's, you just gotta do it, it's simple. I'm not like some master fabricator sheet metal dude, like you can do this. You might have to do it in more pieces because you may not have the equipment, but you can do it.
All right, guys, there you go. Custom battery box. I think it'll fit the character of the goose. Simple, wasn't that hard. Like I said, you can do this. You may not be able to do it in all one piece, but you can do this kind of stuff. Uh, you just gotta try. So anyway, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, thank you for joining me. Go do work, son.